Let's get to Decision Desk 24. The very first GOP presidential debate takes place tomorrow. And frontrunner pro former President Donald Trump will not be participating. Instead, he gave an interview to former Fox host Tucker Carlson, which is set to air on debate night. The decision seems to have put him at odds with Fox News, who is hosting the event. Now, according to a network memo obtained by Axios, Mr. Trump's senior aides will not be able to enter Fox's so-called spin room where campaigns make a case for their candidates. Still, Mr. Trump has a significant lead over his competitors. According to Real Clear Politics, their poll says the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, is in a distant second with just 14 percent. So what does all this mean? News Nation media analyst Colby Hall joins me now to break it all down for us. Colby, there seems to be signs that Fox News is leaning away from the former president uh, with aides no longer welcome into the spin room. But Mr. Trump also called out the network for showing bias for Mr. DeSantis. And now it seems they're even shifting over more to Vivek. Well, it's stunning, actually, how much this has all changed. <clears throat> there was a time when Fox News seemed to be all in on uh, the Trump campaign. You know, remember, Trump used to be a contributor at Fox News. And, and Trump has really sort of attacked Fox for what he thinks is not fair coverage. That said, this latest looks like the latest brunt in the battle between the two. Fox News memo makes clear that it's not just Trump's surrogates that are being disallowed from the spin room. It's it's the surrogates of any candidate that didn't make the stage, whether you know three or four candidates didn't qualify. Trump has opted not to go in. Those guys, those surrogates are going to go there, and I guarantee you the media will surround them, whether they're in the spin room or not. But it just seems like another salvo between the deteriorating relationship between Trump and Fox News. And right now, it looks like maybe Trump needs Fox News <laughs> for the general election more than Fox News needs Trump. So we'll see how it all develops. Colby, we're also noticing a rise there with Vivek. Um, I can't help but notice, even after his town hall here, uh, just a number of people who tuned in to watch him here and hear him speak for the first time, he seems to be gaining in popularity. Uh, what do you expect to see at this debate? The other GOP candidates need to walk a fine line when talking about Mr. Trump, and Vivek has been very clear in his support. Right. He's really set himself apart, and he's really quickly gone from, like, kind of a joke also ran to arguably the number two just behind Trump. I mean, it's a huge, it's a vast difference. But right now, it seems as though Vivek is, um, Vivek is probably like the just passed over Ron DeSantis. And DeSantis has been attacking Ramaswamy. Uh, Vivek, you know, is very telegenic. Uh, he doesn't say no to any interview. And he's struck a really interesting path where he's sort of libertarian, but he, but he refuses to go after Trump. And as a result, you know, he's clean spoken, he's charming, um, he's everywhere on TV, and that's really resonated, especially as Ron DeSantis has seemed to really sort of struggle to, to get his, his campaign launching. So I expect during the debate, you'll see fireworks between DeSantis going after Vivek, and we'll see if Vivek can take the high road. Uh, he's done that so far. We'll see if he can uh, keep doing that. Colby, do you want the high road or do you want a little fireworks? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want fireworks, you know? We live in an age where everyone loves to rubberneck. No one drives by a traffic accident and, and doesn't slow down to look. And so, you know, I think, you know, forever, so many Republican candidates have kept their mouth quiet about Trump and any other candidates. I mean, it was Reagan who made famous the 11th commandment, thou shalt never speak ill of a fellow Republican. And that's why like, these primary debates are so fascinating. In the same way that, you know, it would be Democrats as well, but this intra-fighting between party. So, yeah, of course, I think uh, regardless of whether Trump drops his Tucker pre taped Colby, interview at the same time. You and I are going to have yeah. to do this again. I got to go. Colby Hall, thank you All so right. much for joining me this afternoon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.